Sup guys, welcome back to another video, welcome back to the latest episode of Rugby Player Reacts and today we're focusing on a particular player, he's a linebacker, he plays for the Bucks, he must have won a Super Bowl and his name's Shaquille Barrett, he was voted number 88 on the list, so that means, well we've got no choice but to, to have a look. But before we do, a quick word from our exclusive video sponsor, Manscaped. Sup guys, it's Jacob here. Thank you, first and foremost, for clicking on my video. Secondly, this video is proudly brought to you by Manscaped. Now Manscaped do have a complete range of products on their website, but their most recent product, and the one that I'm using at the moment, is this, the Lawnmower 4.0. So not only is the packaging impressive, but apparently, it's a whole new balls game. And here it is now, the latest addition to Manscaped's incredible selection of male grooming products. I've been using the products for a good couple of weeks now. I love them. There's no way I'd be making this video if I didn't. Manscaped use ceramic blades with skin safe technology, which means there's absolutely no risk of nicks or cuts. In fact, you could probably do it blindfolded. Not only that, but you can do it in the shower also. It's completely 100% waterproof and it's even got an LED light. So power or no power, you can still get the job done. For those wondering, is it a tool just for the downstairs area? No, no it's not. It's actually good for your entire body, including your face. And for anyone wondering, that's the length. But if that's too short for you, there are four different trimmer guard options, which means four different lengths, which means if you really wanted to, you could probably even draw a picture. It looks good, it's waterproof, it's rechargeable with a 90 minute charge, and it's only one of the incredible selection of products on the manscaped.com website. So head over there, check out www.manscaped.com, use code JACOB20, that's J-A-C-B-D-2-0, for 20% off your entire order. Join myself, your other favorite YouTubers, and over two million men worldwide happily using these products. Once again, head down into the description box below, click the link, check out the entire range of products, use my discount code, happy days. Enjoy the video guys, and peace out. Okay, so here we are, Shaquille Barrett, number 88 on the list, as told by Chris Godwin, at least at first, so let's go. How about Shaq? Yeah, Shaq's stud man, because he was undrafted guy, right? And so, being undrafted and working. I like the earring. Your way up and winning the Super Bowl in Denver, but you know, not being in like in a prominent role, getting like an opportunity here on like a what kind of like a prove it deal and then turning it up. I've got to say, I do recognize the face. It's most probably because he was at number 32 last year. But to hear that he's previously won a Super Bowl, that's that's interesting at the very least. And and with that being said, let's look up his stats. Shaquille Akeem Shaq Barrett is 28 years of age. He's an American football outside linebacker for the Bucks. He's six foot two, 250 pounds. So it's that little step up in, in you know, size, weight, and, and most likely strength that takes you from being, you know, a, a corner or a safety, a defensive back into, you know, that linebacker position. And here's evidence of it right here: 250 pounds, six foot two. Now, if he was a safety. Yeah, he might be six foot two, but I'm going to say he probably wouldn't be any more than 210 pounds. And that's just my own observation. But I will say, but I will say it's been a fair few years between Super Bowls. Five, in fact. He won Super Bowl 50 and Super Bowl 55. Can he do 60? Can he do 60? Only time will tell. He's got a great chance. Only time will tell. But I'll tell you what, at 28 years of age, being a two-team player, having two Super Bowls is pretty damn epic. Played college football at Nebraska, Omaha. And after the school eliminated its football program, he transferred to Colorado State. That rings a bell. He started playing college football at Nebraska Omaha in 2010, but after the school eliminated its football program that year, he transferred to Colorado State. Since Barrett was transferring from a school that cut its program, he was eligible to play immediately instead of having to sit out a year. He played three seasons for Colorado State, started 35 of 38 games, and totaled 246 tackles. 18 sacks, 32.5 tackles for a loss, 3 interceptions, 6 passes defended, 7 forced fumbles, 4 fumble recoveries, and 3 blocked kicks. Wow. He's probably like 1 or 2 in like the best pass rushing linebacker in the league. I love watching, like, I, I feel like he's one of the guys I watch the most, on, like when I'm watching the defense. Hey, why not be the greatest today? Ain't no reason why. Why not be the greatest today? Ain't no ball. reason why. He was playing behind Vaughn Miller. Hey, get me if they get it. Right. And he didn't get his opportunity like he wanted it. And he actually went to the Bucks, man, and led the league in sacks. 
being behind guys that he's been behind, I think that made him more hungry. Shaq Barrett, second year as a buck, has recorded two sacks after coming off a Buccaneer record-breaking 19 and a half a year ago. I think the thing was just, you know, getting his opportunity. Let's take over this game. I'll okay. tell you what, he is basically, to me, as an outsider, he is basically the perfect size for a linebacker. And if we look at his pre-draft measurables, he's got decent speed, 4 7 3. He's got a three cone drill under seven seconds, 29 inches on the vertical and nine foot five on the broad jump. Now that is slightly below par. 16 reps on the bench, fairly decent. He did go undrafted, which, you know, looking at his pre-draft measurables, I'm not, I'm not surprised, even though I hate to hang so much importance on, you know, just the select few numbers. At the end of the day, they are somewhat important. And this would probably have to be one of the cheapest contracts I've ever read about and it's most definitely the cheapest signing bonus. On May 10th 2014 the Denver Broncos signed Barrett to a three-year 1.53 million dollar contract that included a signing bonus of three thousand five hundred dollars. Barrett stated that his decision to choose to sign with Denver Broncos Barrett stated that his decision to choose to sign with the Denver Broncos was due to their willingness to look past draft rankings. Okay. Guys like that, they learn from the best and then apply it to become the best. He's just a special dude. I really respect his game. The guy got every tool in the book. He beat you all type of ways. Like, he don't just have a specific move that he go to. He do everything. When you get a guy like that, <laughs> it's going to be hell for our offensive line. It's so cool, like, the way he, he, he bends the corner. Oh, he's going to be absolute hell. Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett sacks Mahomes, spins him around, throws him down. The ball comes loose. Nobody hurt. Tell you what, doesn't matter if you're a running back or a linebacker. To set someone up for a cut like that, as efficiently as he did, is very impressive. He knew he was going to the right, but his first steps to the left, knowing that he's about to bang violently that left foot in. Shaq it's literally just one step, one step off the right foot, which we're about to see, to set him in one direction, knowing that he's about to, like I said, violently bang his foot in and head the other direction. It is a very simple setup of a defender to go a particular way that you want them to go. Jack Barrett Bang. sacks Mahomes, spins him around, throws him down, the ball comes loose. Nobody hurried the quarterback more than Jack Barrett last season, but his sack total did take a hit. I felt like my season was good, but it wasn't to my stand as good. The playoff run was amazing, it was exactly what I needed. Jack sent three of the NFL's greatest quarterbacks running for their lives, and again... Look at that, look at that run to the Super Bowl. Drew Brees, Aaron Rodgers... And Patrick Mahomes. Like a sack king with four in the playoffs. The Packers game, it felt like that's the way I want to play all the game. I supposed to be able to dominate like every game, make my presence felt every game. He sacked at the 30. Oh, if Rodgers holds on to that ball, he has done a fucking good job, and he does. Those guys showed up big time in that championship game. Talking to my boy Will Golson, he was like, we was getting after them boys the first time we played. I'm like, I, don't, I mean, I don't feel like I did that much, so I got to make sure my presence has felt more this game than it was the first game. He is going to go down. He's sacked by Shaq Barrett again. Just started thinking about if I was a little kid, like, I would have killed for this opportunity. Like, I can't let it pass by. There's no guarantee we'll ever make it here again. So I just trying to tap in that little kid and just start having more fun with it and we'll always come back to me like yeah your presence was felt way more this game than it was last it is finally here super bowl 55 everybody want to be in a super bowl everybody want to be us right now man let's not take this opportunity just goes to show what mindset can do right can you imagine if each and every one of those players on a particular team had that same mindset right they're going to step up they don't know when they're going to be back here that is a winning formula Effort, 110% effort, every single play. Doesn't matter what position you're in. Just being a playmaker out there and just trying to make things happen. Just trying to make things happen. By Shaq Barrett. Mahomes pressured, pressured. Mahomes dropping, dropping, pressured, pressured, under pressure. Mm, lovely speed. It feels good to just have that success personally and uh, team-wise. If it was Tim or Patrick Mahomes out there, they probably would have been able to get something done. Good call, mate. I like it. And in the next video, not only are we going to see this guy once again, I'll tell you what, they must like him. They must think he's 
friendly looking. And and I do too, I must admit. But uh, we're going to have to say goodbye to you, mate. At least for now. In the next video, we're looking at Alan Robinson, a wide receiver for the Bears. The Chicago Bears. And that brings us to the end of another video. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Support the channel and its growth into the future by heading down into the description box below, checking out my links, checking out the exclusive video sponsor for the day. And with that in mind, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.